Bonjour and welcome to today's video. I have so many products here in front of me that I've been testing, trying, and I am ready to review. I have my full thoughts on these products. I want to share them with y'all. I'm pretty sure I have over 30 different things here in front of me. So let's jump into it. <music> dive right in. I have a lot of makeup that I've been testing over the past few weeks, the past month or so, and I'm ready to review these products. I love doing first impression videos on my channel. I love doing get ready with me's, testing, trying new makeup, filming shorts, things like that. But I do think it's always important to follow up those reviews or those first impressions with a review after I've tested things more than once. After I've really tried it several times, worn it in different different ways. I like to come back and give you my full thoughts and that's what today's video is. So let's start off. Where do we even start? I'm looking like there's so many things in front of me, but let's start off with a couple of skin tints that I've been trying. So I bought both of these. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Le Tint skin tint foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 moisturizing skin tint. I feel very differently about both of these. Let's start off with the Guerlain. Now for reference, I think it's always important to let you know I'm 35. I have oily skin. I live in a hot, humid climate. I live in the South, okay, of the United States. It gets hot, oily skin, 100% super saturation humidity. It gets crazy. I'm shocked at how much I freaking love this girl on skin tint. Now this skin tint has like argon oil in it. It said it's best for dry, normal combo skin. None of those are me. But what really appealed to me was that it said it had a natural finish and it was supposed to be 24 hour wear. I cannot stop wearing this foundation. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I have it on today. And if you've been watching my video since I tried this for the first time, like all of my video, you've heard me talk about this a lot. Like I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this because I really enjoy it. It's so beautiful on the skin. It has a very natural glowy finish. It's definitely not like a natural matte or anything. It has some glow. So I love to pair this with my milk mattifying primer. That's my favorite way to wear it. I have played with it with different primers as well. I've worn my one size, like the one that's supposed to be like sweat proof, beautiful with this. I've worn my Tatcha Silk Canvas with it. That's what I'm wearing today. I've worn it with my Glow Recipe Mattifying Primer. So I do try to pair this with, or like my Milk Hydro Grip, my e.l.f. Power Grip. I try to pair this with either mattifying or primers that extend the wear of my foundation. And I love it that way. To me, I wear a primer every day. So picking a primer, like if I'm wearing makeup, I'm wearing a primer. So it's not hard for me to be like, oh, okay, I want to wear this. I need to wear this type of primer. Beautiful. At about eight hours of wear, I do like to kind of blot my skin with some blotting papers or a tissue or something like that because it will start to get a bit glowy on me. Now, I will say I have to wear my makeup more than eight hours. I see so many people who are like, I never wear my makeup more than eight hours. For me, if I get up, I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I'm taking my makeup off at night, my day will last a minimum of 12 hours. I really need like 16 plus hours of wear out of a foundation. So the 24 hour claim really called to me on this one. And I will say I've had this on for 16 hours. I blot around the eight hour mark. 16 hours are up. I'm ready to wash my face, but the foundation still looks really nice. I'm surprised at how much I like this. I was just so curious. I'm like, you know what? Even if I don't like it, I'm going to buy it. I'm too curious. I keep thinking about this foundation. I'm in the shade 4W. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I'm pretty sure this is described as like a warm golden undertone. It works pretty well for me. I would describe myself as olive warm leaning undertone and this works super well. I have also used like a green mixer to help give it a little more of like 
me true to my skin type of tone it works well with that it's just really 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 beautiful my favorite way to apply it is with a sponge that's my favorite way to apply all foundations really but i do find that the sponge works better than the brush overall really liking this and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin Okay, now let's move on to this one from Too Faced. The Born This Way Healthy Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Moisturizing Skin Tint with Watermelon, Apple, and Hyaluronic Acid. I will say this is not the best for my oily skin. I was very intrigued because this also had 24-hour wear claims. It says... 24-hour uh, wear, vegan, UVA, UVB protection, all-day hydration, non-acnegenic. So it is hydrating. I know that. But so is the Rouen. And I have some foundations that claim to be hydrating. This foundation is very beautiful. But to me, I can feel it on my skin. And that's kind of rare. I don't have that experience with a lot of products. I decided to give this a go because even though I do have oily skin, I do like to still have glowy skin a lot of the times. My preferred coverage on things is medium coverage. So I'm like, you know, this is a nice medium coverage. This is a nice medium coverage. When I apply it, it looks very beautiful, but it does feel like a night cream on my skin. Not overly heavy, but it, it feels like when I just apply moisturizer, even when I set it with a powder, it just feels a little more moisturizing than what I love. Now, I've seen a lot of people with dry and normal skin liking this foundation. I never watch reviews before I try things myself, but after I tried this a couple times, I was just curious, you know, who else is loving this foundation? And it seems like a lot of normal combo and dry skin people are loving this one. This one for me, at about four hours of wear, I'm a little more glowy than I would like and glowy in an oily way, not glowy in a healthy way. So I do take like a blotting paper and I kind of like blotted my T-zone even around my cheeks and stuff. And I felt like I could get a beautiful eight hours of wear if I blotted around the four hour mark. But for me, after eight hours, I'm like, I'm ready to wash my face. I'm ready to wash my face. So maybe if it was a night out, something like that, I would reach for this. But knowing myself, I'm just going to go for the stuff that I really love. I'm not, I'm probably not going to reach for this again. I actually think I might pass this on to my mom or my sister-in-law. My mom is lighter in skin tone. I get darker than my mom, not as dark as my dad. <laughs> but I do, I did give my mom like a white foundation mixer. So I think maybe she can mix it. She can lighten this up. She does have more dry skin. So I want to hear from her what she thinks of this. But I've worn this a handful of times now and it's a product that I'm having to make myself use. That's another way how I tell, do I really like something? Do I want to reach for it? When I have my stuff that I'm reviewing, do I want to use like this? I want to use this. I want to use this. Whereas this one, I'm like, I want to use the girl on, but I need to use, I need to use this. I need to test this again. I need to test this with this primer. And it just felt like no matter what, I couldn't get this to be something that I love. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass it on to my mom, see what she thinks. Let's talk about something else that I thought was okay. I bought all of the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands. Now, again, I feel like I've seen people with normal to dry skin really loving these. I've seen a lot of people really loving these. I thought these were okay. I don't think these were a bad product, but I don't love them. I definitely like these better than the Milani ones. I really did not like the Milani ones, but if I'm reaching for something like this, if I want a creamy type bronzer or blush or highlight definitely not in the same format i'm going for my ColourPop super shock i love their ColourPop super shock bronzer it's definitely a bit more creamy if you have dry skin i feel like it blends better it lasts better i don't have to build it up so much the blush i thought was pretty i just feel like i have to build these products up i did do a video on these and i have tested them since and like I said, I don't hate these at all. I'm not saying these are a bad product by any means, but I'm saying if somebody was asking me like, Heather, what's like a cream product in the under $10 mark, I would steer somebody towards the ColourPop Super Shock line of bronzers, blush, and highlights. These, 
I just think, I think they're okay. I'm not saying I hate these. I'm not saying these are terrible. I'm not saying they're trash. I'm just saying for me personally, I don't love them. Okay, let's jump over to ColourPop. I have a lot of things to talk about from ColourPop. I'll move kind of quickly because I feel like a lot of this stuff from ColourPop, I've already kind of told you my thoughts on. So first up, let's talk about their pressed powder products. They came out with a permanent line packaging like this. I do prefer their cardboard packaging like their Alice in Wonderland blushes. I do prefer this cardboard packaging, but I understand these are products products that are going to be in store at Target, Ulta, things like that. People want to be able to see the shade of the product. Listen, I get it. The bronzers I really enjoyed. ColourPop did send me, I think, everything that I'm going to talk about. So this is Summerland Beach. This is what I'm wearing today. And then I also have Pacific Beach. I've also mixed these when I want more of a bronze. I'm getting ready to go on vacation. So I know I'm going to be mixing these when I get back because this is definitely too deep for me. This shade is beautiful right now. Again, it's the shade that I'm wearing today, the bronzer I'm wearing today, but I definitely plan to mix these when I get back. Really beautiful formula. I like that a lot. It's actually going to be like top shelf products for me along with that Guerlain foundation. The pressed powder blushes from ColourPop, I already knew I liked the, this formula, so this is not like a new thing for me. I pulled a couple of them here, but I do like that they're expanding their permanent range. They're keeping these shades around. I really, really like those. And the same with the Alice in Wonderland blushes. I'm actually wearing both of these mixed today. So I have Oh Dear which is this beautiful, beautiful pinky shade. And then I have Silence. Let me see if I can open up this beautiful red blush. So I mixed both of these today. I do have a video on this collection. I really like the blushes, but I knew before that I liked ColourPop's pressed powder blushes. Their pressed powder highlighters, really pretty. I have the shade here, Cold One. I think it's very pretty, but I do like... When I think of ColourPop highlighters, I think of the Super Shock highlighters. I love ColourPop Super Shock highlighters so, 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 so much. So when I want a ColourPop highlighter, I'm always grabbing my Super Shocks. This one's nice, but it's like, it's just hard to compete with the Super Shock. And I do have a Super Shock from ColourPop here. This is Spirit Wilds. This is part of the Legend of Korra collection. Now, if I use a very fluffy brush and use a very light hand, let me see, can I open this packaging? Good grief. Okay, like I was saying, if I use a fluffy brush, a light hand, I can make this shade work for me but it is a bit more on the deep side for my skin tone. So if you are deeper than me, this could be a perfect super shock shade for you. It is very pretty and you can like mix it all together like I just did in that swatch or you can dip into the different shades because it's kind of marbled here. I will say I do not like this packaging whatsoever. I prefer the smaller super shock packaging that's about this size with the screw on top. I just think this packaging is like large for no reason really large for no reason but i do love the super shock formula that shade and that packaging just isn't my personal preference now i bought the snow white color pop collection and i wanted to follow up with y'all and talk about this just one bite lip mask so it looks like an apple for snow white you can see i've been digging in there I, if you've been following me, you know that I was sick. I was down in bed for about six days. And when I got up, my lips were crusty, dusty, gross. I used this lip scrub and it was not harsh whatsoever. If you've ever used a lip scrub that's so abrasive that your lips almost feel like they're bleeding and raw, I hate that. This was very gentle. It kind of tastes like apples and it lift, left my lips feeling really, really nice. And it just removed the dead skin without feeling like it was tearing my lips. I'm so happy I bought this. This is such a good little lip scrub. And then the Who Are You lip mask. This is so good. It smells like birthday cake. I've been alternating this and lip oils, just whatever's nearest to me I'll grab. 
but I love this so much. In fact, I was packing for my vacation and I had this and a couple other things I'm going to talk about in my like makeup bag packed up. And when I was sitting down to film this for y'all, I'm like, oh, I need to run, go get that stuff. So I had to go back through what I already packed for travel, like a silly goose, but I love this. This is really good, really hydrating. It feels like a good lip mask without being too thick and goopy. It just feels very nice. Now also from the Alice in Wonderland collection, I won't spend too much time on these either. The lipsticks and the lip gloss. I am wearing the lip gloss today in total nonsense. This beautiful like purpley iridescent gloss. I, I like the ColourPop Luxe lip gloss formula. I think it's nice. I've been having this formula since it launched basically and I enjoy it. Same with these lipsticks. The two that came out are in the cream formula as well as the blur formula. I really enjoy both of these. Again, you can definitely go watch my video on the Alice in Wonderland collection if you want to see them on the lips, everything like that. But overall, really enjoy that. Okay, the last thing from the Alice in Wonderland collection, I think, are these shadow sticks from ColourPop. These are the ColourPop shadow sticks. I also have another one here that I used from their permanent line. I will just say right now, a shadow stick, taking a shadow stick, doing one shade all over the lid, blending and buffing it out, very pretty, very easy, very effortless. I never do that. It's just not the way I do my makeup. When I do my makeup, it's more something like this. I just never will reach for a cream shadow stick and use it on its own. What I will use these for is like the lower lash line shade, the inner corner shade. I actually have, I did film this. If it's not up as a short yet, it will be coming, this eye look. But I am wearing Full of Wonder Metallic Shadow Stick on my inner corner today. And then I'm also wearing not all there as a base for a powder shadow on my eyes. That's how I like to use these as accents, as compliments to my palettes. I think these are fun. I think the formulas are really nice. I use this bronzy shade. This is the shadow stick in, oh, uh, Kuoka. I used it on my lower lash line before. I think it's really, really beautiful. So I've been enjoying the shadow sticks. I'm pleasantly surprised. They don't give me any issues. They're easy to blend out. I've been enjoying those a lot. Okay, I think we've made it to the last thing from ColourPop that I have to talk to y'all about. And these are the ColourPop Legend of Cora. What are these actually called? Chrome Liquid Eyeshadow. No, 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 no. These are so heavy on the lid. So if you want to put down a powder shadow, a cream shadow stick, and then go in with a light, light layer of this, you are going to have a very sheer wash. It's not going to be that multi-chrome strong that you see in a swatch. You do have to build a swatch up, but if you want to see the shift, you've got to build it up. If I put it on a sheer layer, it's like, what's the point? You can't really see the shift. Like it gives you a little sparkle and something, I guess, but nothing impactful. When I want a multi-chrome, I want a multi-chrome. Now, if I build this up, like put a layer, let it dry, put a layer, let it dry, build it up to where it's opaque, then I can see a shift. But the day I did that, it was so heavy on my lid. It was cracking. Even my husband, when he got home that day, he was like, looking at me <laughs> and I could tell the way he was looking at me, but he wasn't going to say anything. And I was like, my eyes look weird, huh? He was like, they're just like all lines. And he was talking about like all the cracks in my eyes and it just looked heavy. It looked like I took paint and just rubbed it on my eye and it was thick and goopy and it felt thick and goopy. Like I could feel it all day. I want ColourPop to keep trying. Keep trying. There are so many great liquid multi-chromes out there. They're usually expensive though. If you want a good one, they're going to be like double or triple the price of these ColourPop. But even though these are not expensive, I still don't want to waste my money, right? Like for the price of one of these, like I can go to Burger King and get an Impossible Whopper meal. You know what I'm saying? Like just because something's at a drugstore price point, doesn't mean like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's still money, right? It's still money, right? So these, absolutely not for me. Absolutely not, but I hope they keep trying and I do hope they get to a great drugstore price point, multi-chrome liquid shadow. I'll leave it there. 
House Magic released lip glosses and I'm so happy. I have been into Half Magic since the brand launch. When Half Magic launched, I bought so much stuff. I made a video. I thought they made some really cool stuff, some stuff that I was like, eh, but some favorites, you know, really liked. And I'm so happy Half Magic sent me their new glosses. Had they not sent me these, I would have bought them because like I said, I'm really into the brand. So this is Magic Drip Lip Gloss. I love these. They are sparkly. They're beautiful. I love this packaging. The doe foot applicator has like a nice pointed tip. Very sparkly. Very beautiful. They have enough pigment, but they're not full on pigment. They give you this like sheer wash of color that just complements everything with tons of sparkle. Beautiful formula. Beautiful packaging. Honestly, I, I, I might make a bold statement and say that those are probably gonna be in like my top five lip gloss formula top 10 for sure that's something to think about but i really love those i think they're so good and half magic is at beauty bay now which is so nice because not only can you order from their site that's where i ordered the first time like i ordered from the half magic site i had a great customer experience but i know that beauty bay is available in so many countries it's so easy to use and shop from so i will link that and everything i talk about down below if i have discount codes for anything i'll link that down below i am loving those glosses let's talk about blend bunny let's talk about you and me i think blend bunny killed it with their lip oils in fact You'll see I have five here. That's because the sixth one is packed in my skincare bag. I just thought of that. I said I had to get the lip mask out. I put that in my makeup bag. I put a lip oil in my skincare bag. I didn't think about going through my skincare bag. Listen, we're leaving tomorrow for vacation. I'm ready. So I have the red lip oil from the Juicy side down in my skincare bag. That and the ColourPop lip mask, that's all I've been nourishing my lips with since I got them loving them beautiful this lip oil smells so good like it tastes so good you know because listen you put something on your lips it's bound to get a little bit in your mouth you can smell it for a little bit you know what i mean these are thin which i like not too thick not like i, I say this all the time you get a lip oil sometimes and it feels like you took olive oil and you just dunked your lips in it and it's just gross and it's like I don't like this. Not these lip oils. They feel thin while also being nourishing, hydrating. I've put on like these at night, of course, in the morning, like to nourish my lips. But I've also worn these in the day, like just thrown on a lip liner and put on a lip oil. Beautiful. They have some pigment while also being sheer. So of course we have the clear one right here. But let me show you what I mean by like pigment and sheer. So right here, you can see there's definitely some pink there, but it's not overwhelming. You know, you get that tint of what's in the tube. And then let me show you like this deeper one here in Love Bite. This formula is just so nice. This price point is amazing. Let me show, so see like that one's a bit darker, but then of course you can shear it out or put a little bit more. Like really nice really good and hydrating. I like the applicator. I like this short squat packaging. Like I think it's super duper cute. Now their blush palettes equally amazing. I actually have the Juicy Cheeks. This was in my travel makeup bag. I'm putting it back as soon as I get done filming this video because this is coming on vacation with me. I love these tones. To me, I can stick with like these two shades. I could wear with just about any makeup look. I can add in these shades to punch it up. This orange too, I love. I love being able to cool down a blush look or warm up a blush look. Beautiful formula, pigmented. So if you have deeper skin than I do, you are not gonna have any trouble getting these blushes to show up on your skin. If you have lighter skin than I do, let me show you, let me find, where, where, where I got a brush, where I got a brush. Here, I'll just grab this one from Unearthly. You just barely pop it and put it on. Just one tap is gonna give you the result you need. So these, 
such a good formula. It's gonna work for so many skin tones because you don't have to build and build and build. Just go in light or go in like you normally would depending on your skin tone, you're gonna love. I also love that they have the Bare Cheeks palette. So if you want colors that maybe aren't as bold and bright and fun as these, these are coming on vacation with me. Look at this palette. I have worn this duo right here a lot. I love a red blush, I love a pink blush. We've got more orangey tones, we've got more cool tones, and then we have more like brown type of tones really 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 beautiful i think blend bunny did a great job look at the size of this it's not massive and you get eight blushes like i think they did a good job of giving us a blush palette that's not overwhelmingly large i'm really enjoying that i I'm like, hmm, this is gonna stay top drawer for me as well because I'm gonna keep wearing these. They don't fade, they stay looking nice. I love Blend Bunny, they don't miss. Singe, Singe Beauty. I only have four of the five brushes here because I took the other brush downstairs to wash last night and I didn't bring it up here with me. These brushes, okay, first of all, Singe Beauty, is the brand owned by my bestie Aniela Kniegvist. If these brushes were terrible, the worst brushes in the world, I would not talk about them. I wouldn't come on, I'd be like, these are the worst brushes in the world. I'm just gonna be honest, Angie is my friend. What I would do is pretend that they didn't exist. <laughs> if she put out a product that was terrible, I would just pretend they did not exist. But I can tell you these brushes are amazing. If, if Angie and I were not friends, I would have bought these brushes Anyways, I bought three sets. I bought a set for me, I bought a set for my sister-in-law, I bought a set for my mom. I mean, I was like, Oprah, you get a rush set, you get a rush set, you get a rush set, because I was so happy for her. I saw the work she put into these behind the scenes and just how much care and detail she put into making these vegan brushes that feel like natural hair, that have these beautiful shapes to them. I've been using them, washing them, using them, washing them. I've washed these with my Sigma Sigmatic cleanser. I've used different soaps on these. I've used um, like my It Cosmetics brush bath where you just spray them and clean them. I've used my Sigma Color Switch. I've wiped them on a towel. Like I have put these things through the wringer and not a hair has come out. They're still beautiful and soft as the day I got these. Angie, you know I love you. Those are amazing. Good work. If y'all got those brushes, definitely let me know what you think of them because I think they're so good. And I'm so proud to see my friend put out such an amazing product. Let's talk about this makeup by Mario. Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. I don't think I used this in a video with y'all, but I don't like it. I wore it twice because after the second time, I'm like, no, I've done tried this. So the first time I wore this, I put it, I, put, I just put on a lip liner and I put this on top because this is a pigmented gloss. I bought the shade Spice and swatching it, it is beautiful. It is a pigmented gloss. When I first put it on, I was like, Ha! Ah, like I could hear that sound. I'm like, this is so beautiful. Sorry, I'm like, let me wipe this lip gloss off or it's gonna be like in my hair in two minutes. I thought this was so beautiful, but after five minutes, it settled into the lines of my lips. It settled. And I'm like, but that's weird. So I try to like smooth it out and I'm like, okay, okay, there, it looks better. And then five minutes later, it was like, like little lines in my lips. Like it, it seriously like aged my lips by like a thousand years. It was not good. It was not good. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe my lips are a little dry today and I didn't notice it. Like maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Maybe it's me, you know? So I tried it another day. Exact same thing, y'all. It just settles weird into lines. So I went and I was like, who else is having this problem? And I actually watched a TikTok from Manny, M-U-A, and he said the same thing with the dark, he said the darker colors settled into his lines. So I don't know. Have you tried these? And specifically, have you tried any of the deeper shades like this? Because I loved the pigment. Like it was beautiful for the first four minutes and then it was bad. So this, that it's, 
it, it's trash. Like, honestly, I, I can't, it's not even workable for me, which I hate. Don't hate me. I don't want to be hated. Don't hate me. <laughs> I hate this rare beauty. What? Let me tell you. Tinted lip oil. Tinted lip oil. People were coming for me. They're like, Heather, it's not a lip oil. It's a lip stain. This says on the packaging from Rare Beauty, this is a lip oil. Now, it does stain a smidge. I think this would have been better to be labeled as a lip stain. I have some from K-Beauty, Fluorasis. They make a product that is what this product wishes it could be. It's a hydrating stain that's kind of glossy and then wears down to a stainy finish. I have that video on it, love. This tastes weird. It goes on, it feels kind of okay on the lips. And then it dries my lips out like dry. Like I'm rushing like, oh my gosh, where's my lip mask? Let me put my lip mask on. It does give me a slight stain. I mean, I have the shade Happy, so it's a lighter color anyways. So I'm left with a little bit of a stain. It looks pretty when it goes on, but the stain that it leaves is so minimal, like it's pointless. I'll just use another product. But I put this on and a little bit later, I'm like, where's a lip oil? Like where is a lip oil? Because it makes me feel dry. This product is so pointless to me. I'm like, why would I put this on? And then an hour later, I'm like, oh, I need a different product. I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. I don't like products that dry out my lips for no reason. Like even a liquid lipstick, I can say it's drying, but it's okay. Like I need the color to last all day. Like there's some products you can make excuses for, you know what I'm saying? But this, I'm like, like you're not giving me hydration. Like why are you called a lip oil first of all? No, like I hate that product. Don't come for me, don't come for me. I'm not saying I hate Rare Beauty. I love some products from Rare Beauty, I do. I'm not saying I hate Celine, I love her, she's so cute. I love only murderers in the building. This is not a personal attack. But this lip oil, like I bought this from Sephora, that and the makeup by Mario and I wish I had my money back. This Huda Beauty Glow Wish Bright Light Sheer Concealer, I have the shade Tan Light 07. This concealer is exactly what it claims to be. You go to Sephora site, you read the claims, exactly that. I really like this. This is a sheer concealer. You can definitely add a second layer and get a light coverage. It is glowy in a pretty way. Now I have oily skin. I really like using this a little bit under the eye, kind of tap it in. I usually wait a minute, then I put a little bit more, tap it in, just because I like to build this to a light coverage rather than just a sheer. Add a little bit of powder, it's beautiful. It gives a little bit of glow and a very like glowy skin. I'm hydrated, I ate veggies last night and I've been drinking water every day of my life. That's what this concealer, that's the glow it gives. Not overly glowy, very pretty. I don't have any weird issues with this concealer. It looks nice, I enjoy it. When I want a light concealer, this is the one I've been reaching for, not just because I'm in the process of reviewing it because I think it's actually really nice. Sigma sent me their cream blushes. These are their cream blushes. I do have a short swatching all these. I've shown myself wearing these. They launched four shades and I love these. You can definitely put these on and then build them up if you want more intensity. They work great under powder. That's my personal favorite way to wear cream products is to put them on with all my creams and then set my face with powder. But for the sake of reviewing, I also put these on on top of powder, like after I had powdered my face, then went in with a cream blush and it still looked beautiful with a blush, with a blush, with a brush, with my finger, with the sponge, every way looks beautiful. I personally prefer to use a brush on these. This is the shade Pashmina. These are just a really beautiful formula. I also like the pan size. It makes it really easy to get a brush in there. I'm looking like, where is a good size brush? So it's very easy to get a brush in there, get the brush coat 
coated with blush. This is the shade Coral Dawn. I will say my favorite shade is probably Nearly Wild. I just think this is so beautiful. These are long lasting. They don't fade. They look nice. They don't lift product underneath. And then we have their classic iconic shade Corderosa. I've been really, really, really enjoying these. I really like the compact. I think it's nice and cute and sleek and I'm into it. Okay, we've only got a few things left. Salem Cosmetics sent me two of their spooky cute blushes. I like this packaging. These blushes are pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. So if you are of deeper skin, I think you'll really enjoy these because these are gonna show up. And if you have lighter skin, just one little dip. But these are easy to blend, really beautiful. I personally love this hot pink shade. I think it's a lot of fun. And just a little bit kind of adds a pop to the cheeks to kind of like just give a little bit of life to the face. And this orange, really beautiful too. Definitely very beautiful, easy to blend. I think these little compacts are cute. And y'all know me, I love indie brands. Okay, Milk Makeup sent me two of their, what are these called? Quickie Lip and Cheek Tints? Blushes? I don't know. I've used these as cream blushes. I've not used these on the lips. My favorite is this shade right here. Oh, Quickie. Sorry. The shade is Quickie. These are just for lip and cheeks. That's all they say for lip, lip and cheek. Quickie is the shade I like. This deeper shade. It's very pretty. Like, it's easy to wear. You can kind of sheer it out. See, so you can see how the lip oil kind of tinted over here. But, like, isn't that pretty? I just really like that color. Don't let the shade in the, like the shade that looks here intimidate you because that's what it actually looks like. Really, really beautiful. Easy to blend. Great on top of powder. Great underneath powder. It doesn't matter. This right here, I think a lot of people really like this shade. This is Work work. I like that name. I like this shade. A very pretty formula. I also like that these are like little minis. They're in this small tube. So if you like to put all your makeup in a bag or in a drawer, something like that, it's not going to take up a lot of space and still going to be really beautiful. Okay. The uh, e.l.f. Perfect Fit Lip Balm. A lot of people were saying like, why is it perfect fit? P-H-I-T. Because I think like perfect fit in jeans. Per pH is in like pH color changing. So I did do a video on this. It's gimmicky. It's cute. It's fine. I'm not going to use this again. I felt like it was hydrating enough. Not so overly, I, like I just haven't wanted to reach for this again. I, I, I want to just grab a lip product. I want to grab the color I want to grab. I don't want it to have to like change all my lips, but I do think it's cute. It's not a bad product. It's just like, yeah, that was, that was the thing. Okay, Half Magic, their Glitter Puck and Dopamine Sparkle. So this is like a glitter in a pot. I really like this. I want to say I did a short or a reel with this, but it's basically like, kind of like a glittery gel. I use this on the face and the eyes. I do not know if this is considered eye safe, so don't listen to me listen to your own self, read what the website says. But if you can see, it just gives like this glittery sparkle, but not a chunky glitter whatsoever. It's very fine, very thin. It just blends really nicely. You can use it on the eyes or face to like just top over an eye look. That's the way I used it, tapped it over a liquid shadow. And I really enjoyed that. Let me <laughs> get this glitter off my hand. I think this formula is really cool. I would love to see them do more. I would love to see one that's more maybe like white with pearlescent types of glitters, but I really liked this formula. And if they launch more colors, I'll definitely buy them. Fenty Beauty. I cannot remember if I reviewed these. I think I did. I think I did. As I'm saying this now, I think I did. These are their Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I love. I bought the shade... Riri, loved it so much, I went and bought C Sweetheart. I think I actually reviewed these already, but they're pigmented, like one swipe, you have pigment. They're velvety matte. They don't feel heavy on the lips. They don't feel dry on the lips. They don't crack my lips. They last. They're beautiful. I'm obsessed. I need all the shades. Let's talk about eyeliners. So I got this eyeliner sent to me from Sugar Drizzle. This is their new liquid liner. I'll say right off the gate, this is pigmented. It's very pretty, but a felt tip is not my preferred like 
applicator for liquid liner. I prefer a brush tip, so it's not my favorite just for that reason, but I do think it's very nice. I don't have any issues. It's easy to apply. It's pigmented. It stays on my eyes. And then I bought two of the Urban Decay 24-7 inks. Uh, I bought the shade Zero, which is the black, and Oil Slick, which is a gray. Again, very pretty. I do like the brush tip applicator. That's my preferred method. I just love a brush tip applicator for liquid liner. I think it's it's just my preferred method. I think it's easier. But both of these are pigmented, long lasting. I love the brush tip. And I actually really like this handle. Like this is very comfortable to use. I think this packaging was kind of genius because it just makes it easier to apply. So I really like these. I'm really happy to have them. All right, we are almost done. Let's talk about this Hair Proud Everyday Care All-Inclusive 5-in-1 Protection Milk. This hydrates, detangles, smooths, heat protects, and adds shine with niacinamide and conditioning fruit extracts for normal to dry hair. Now, I will say that my hair, I would describe like oily scalp, so I definitely get oily all in here, but the ends of my hair do get dry because I do color treat my hair. My hair is naturally much lighter than this. It's like a dishwater blonde type of color or light brown, whatever you wanna call it. And I do color my hair, but I try to take good care of my hair, even though I do heat style it a lot. This, I really enjoy. Hair Proud sent me this. I know you can find this at Walmart. I will link it down below, but I really like this. It says it protects against heat treatment. It hydrates, detangles, smooths, adds shine and conditions. So you missed it on to towel dry hair and comb through. I really like that. I'll kind of like get out of the shower. I have a special towel that I put my hair in so that, you know, it's supposed to like be gentle on the hair. And then I will take this when my hair is like, so not soaking wet, but damp from the shower. You know, I'm getting ready to blow dry it. I will just spray this in my hair. I'll spray a little bit on my hands, make sure I get this like basically from like here down. And I do feel like it gives me that heat protection that I need and it gives me some hydration and smoothing. I don't have a huge issue with tangles because I do use so much conditioner, I'm sure, and I really try to detangle in the shower. So I can't speak to that aspect of it, but I'm really, really liking this. I think it's super nice and it doesn't make my hair feel overly heavy or anything like that. Last up, let's talk about two fragrances. So the Fleur Solar Power. I love when fragrances come in this size. This for me is like a perfect way to test and try a fragrance. I don't want to spend, you know, $100 on a fragrance. I can buy this. I think this was 26 and this is beautiful. This smells like orange flower, bergamot, musk. Oh, it's so good. Day or night type of scent for me. I really enjoy it. It lasts well on my skin. My, I, I seem to like the Fleur fragrances. I have this one. I have Missing Person. I really enjoy them. They last well on me. They mix well with my skin. I'm into it. I also bought this travel size. See, I just love this size. This is the Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato fragrance. This is so good. Like, I smell the pistachio, almost like cotton candy-esque, but it's so elevated. I feel like saying cotton candy-esque makes it sound almost a little like juvenile, but it's not. I smell that pistachio. I smell that like almost cream. It smells so good when I put it on too. This is a unique fragrance to me. I don't have anything else that I can think of that smells like this. I'm very happy with my purchase. I've really been enjoying that. I mean, you can see both of these, like maybe if I hold them like this in front of my face, you can see that I've been using these. I mean, you only use like, I, I only use a pump on my wrist, a pump here, and then I'm good to go and I smell great all day. I really love those fragrances. 
All right, y'all, that is all the products I have to review. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have been testing and trying these products. I have other things. I have a whole basket over here of things I'm almost ready to review. So I'll have another one of these videos coming for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any products that you would like me to review that you're curious about, let me know down in the comments. Let me know, have you bought anything new? Tell me what you bought. Tell me what you've been trying. Tell me what you think. Are you on a low buy and no buy? You've been shopping your stash. Tell me what you've been reaching for the most. I love to hear from y'all. I hope you're having an amazing day. I am excited about my vacation. At the time you're watching this, I'm on vacation. So I hope you're having an amazing day. Please do subscribe and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.